Masterpieces are outstanding creations worthy of a place in history. They are the works of art we can't stop thinking and talking about. Art's meant to make a difference. These are pieces that continue to do so long after the artist is gone. I'm Lady K Flo. This is where I give you my quick takes on art pieces I call the masters. Benjamin West, Venus Lamenting the Death of Adonis. This painting tells an ancient story. The beloved goddess Venus fell hard for heartthrob hottie Adonis, but it was not meant to be. In fact, she knew his destiny for an early death on the hunt. No matter how much Venus warned him and pleaded, Adonis dismissed her. This classic painting portrays the tragedy of his stubborn refusal to hear her. The Venus here shows compassion and class. She's not the vixen many painters choose to portray. This is a woman of grace and culture. That's because this is her moment of true vulnerability. For once, she's not the desired, adored Venus. It was only in her love for Adonis and losing him that Venus showed weakness. This happens often for beautiful women in the world. They'll stay idolized, faraway objects until one gets to know them. You gotta connect. It's when active in love that a person becomes real to us. That's when we can really love them. Venus, the goddess of love, would seem to be the most lovable of all, but she's as unreachable as any other until she loves Adonis. Once she loves and loses, she seems like a person. This makes Venus lovable, her human side. Heartbroken Swans. Her heartbreak also lies in the swan necks behind the sad spectacle of Adonis' death. The swan duo grant her sadness tangible form. Because of her loss, we can't see a full heart. The swans sit in the shadow of death. That shadow represents the devastation of loss. If the swan pair were lit, their necks would make a heart with their loving position. Instead, darkness obscures the full shape of love. Thus, West's painting portrays the true nature of grief. It obscures our hope for the illumination and discovery of love. Thank goodness this phase of grief passes and we can find our way to light and love again. Just not within this painting. We have this painting, Venus Lamenting the Death of Adonis by Benjamin West. This shows the goddess Venus, every man's delight the goddess of love, who fell in love with Adonis. She tried to warn him that if he went on this hunt, he would die, but he did not listen. He was an impetuous, young, beautiful boy, and he went on the hunt anyway, and as you can see, it ended in tragedy. Only Cupid, who sits between them, crying and mourning, can truly understand what a tragedy this is. But my favorite part of the painting are the two swans hidden in the darkness we only see little bits of their slender white necks. If we could see the whole necks, they would make a, a heart shape. But because of this death, this terrible tragedy, they're in darkness, and we only see pieces of that heart. Benjamin West, Factoids. American Benjamin West was born October 10th, 1738. He showed a passionate interest in historical, religious, and mythological themes with his popular work. Mr. Fancy Pants himself, West, was also known as Sir Benjamin West. West started out as a successful child portrait painter 
in New York City. He's considered the precursor to the French Romantic painting style. Sir Benjamin West painted many commissions for King George III. Though he started out in New York City and died in London, it was three years of training in Italy that most influenced his painting style. Masterpieces are written and recorded by Lady K-Flow. If you like this podcast and want to hear more like it, the greatest compliment you can give is to tell a friend. And subscribe to Lady K-Flow on Apple, Google, Stitcher, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Thanks. Visit LadyKFlo.com for all the goods. That's L-A-D-Y-K-F-L-O dot com.